assessment at a very high level over a couple of slides about how water reform is going, because that's one of the roles of the National Water Commission. Uh, and then I'll get a bit more specific about uh, different areas of reform. Uh, so this first slide is the positive side of the ledger. It's a bit like a performance assessment where someone says, oh, you're doing very well, but, so this is the doing very well slide. Um, without the National Water Initiative, uh, we really would be in a lot more trouble than we are in. And I, I say that, we say that from the Commission's point of view, because it has initiated a whole lot of things that just wouldn't be happening otherwise. A whole lot of reform processes and management improvements that, that uh, were overdue and actually have started, in some cases have finished, uh, and that wouldn't have happened without the NWI. So amidst all the depression, cling to that, that uh, there, is, uh, there is a lot happening that wouldn't otherwise be happening. Uh, three, uh, there has been demonstrable progress in a number of important areas. There's some examples there, but water trading is, is a good example. Yes, there are still problems with water trading, which I'll come to, uh, but we wouldn't be where we are without the NWI. Uh, and the NWI itself uh, isn't the last word. The, the NWI was signed in 2004, and uh, it has been terrific, but a lot has happened since then. So we're always very careful in the National Water Commission not to get caught in a 2004 time warp and just think that only the NWI counts. But there have been delays in almost every area of water reform. I'm still at this sort of very high level, just touching lightly across the whole reform agenda. Um, there are some urgent and some very obvious problems which uh, we'll all be aware of. Dealing with over allocation, environmental degradation continues, think the lower lakes and Kuron. Um, the 4% rule, the 10% uh, uh, rule in Victoria, which the Victorian government has announced its intention to move away from, but um, that's a, has been a very serious problem, absolutely in WI inconsistent. Uh, cost recovery commitments that the government's made and the fact that many water plans have been suspended, particularly in New South Wales, for understandable reasons. The, the, uh, Availability of water has been just terrible, and for that reason, water plans are suspended. But we should ask ourselves, well, what, what value are water plans uh, if they are suspended? Another thing I'll come back to. Um, and we see many of these reforms as being keystones for others, uh, where there are foundation stones that must be put in place before the rest of the building can be assembled above it. Um, some of those keystones are particularly critical uh, uh, problems. There have been developments since 2004 which aren't being properly accommodated in the reform agenda, and the best example is climate change, because climate change was with us well and truly before 2004, but um, at that time, or since that time, it's become a bit easier to talk about it, and the science has progressively clarified, uh, and uh, uh, it now needs to be built more effectively into the Agenda. There are some forgotten areas that we call them uh, of the National Water Initiative uh, which really haven't been developed at all in, in the forthcoming report that uh, much of what I'm saying today is based on. That is a, uh, a call to buy your assessment, our assessment every two years about how water reform is going. Are we making the point that, that there are these forgotten areas and we'll be urging uh, renewed action in those areas? Um, and there are new risks emerging, and the best example of that is the adjustment issue. Now, uh, Mike Young made much of that, and I uh, firmly agree with him that, that rural adjustment is an enormously important issue, and potentially an enormously important impediment to water reform. Um, the, uh, we go so far as to say that it's potentially the biggest risk to continuing reform. And this government's do deal satisfactorily with, with rural adjustment. Uh, the whole reform process would grind to a whole more or reverse. The NWA only talked in two paragraphs about adjustment, and the essence of what I've said was, uh, if there's an adjustment problem, state government should come and talk to the Commonwealth about it. And finally, on this list, uh, some new things have happened since the NWA. Uh, the mining industry issue that was raised in one of the questions, um, adjustment, again, uh, urban water institutional reforms, 
Uh, and these sorts of things need to be uh, responded to. The fact that they're not in the NWI in any meaningful way uh, doesn't mean that they're not important. Uh, the world has continued to move and we shouldn't get caught in a time warp from 2004.